this disc is so rusted I'm going to have to replace it. Uh, to replace it though I've got to take the um, caliper off and the problem that I've got is the pins are completely corroded into place so I'm just going to show you the methods that I would use to get them out. Method one I use is uh, de-icer. It's uh, alcohol based and um, when you spray it in it gets into all the nooks and crannies and um, uh, frees up the uh, uh, the pin and uh, sometimes that will allow you to take it straight out and it also doesn't uh, uh, contaminate the um, uh, brake pads that much. Right, we'll give it a good liberal dosing. The good thing about this is it's cheap as chips, especially out of season. Okay, we'll leave that for a minute or two to soak in. Right, I'll just see if I can get the, the pins out along those pliers. Yep, they've actually already ta taken the, the pins out before, so that's fine, that's them out. Right, method one, the traditional method, uh, the, the punch. So we'll just uh, find the end and see if it'll tap out. It's not budging, just rounding off. Same with this one, just rounding off. You don't want to batter it too much if it's not moving because uh, what will happen is uh, you'll actually make a rivet and make it even more difficult to, uh, to get it out. So that method's not going to work, it's not coming out. Right, method number two, the mole grips. So we use them to clamp onto the the pin and tighten up and then with a trusty club hammer just holding the pole grips in place And this is not going to move either. It's just um, sliding, sliding along the pin, so that method isn't going to work in this case either. So method number three, the cold chisel. Now I've uh, specially sharpened this one up, so it's uh, it's just ready for cutting. But before I do that, I'm just going to use it to. Uh, uh, loosen off the uh, the brake uh, the brake pads and on the pins. So the looser it is, the, uh, the easier the job's going to be. So just a wee tap, and that will help things along. Okay, right. So. Half, around about halfway along the pin, I'm just going to hit it uh, straight. See if we can make a little notch in it. Not an increasing angle. Yeah, and that doesn't look like it's uh, it's going to come out either. Try it with the bottom one. No, that's not going to come out either. Nope, so I think what I'm going to have to do is chop it through. If you've got a wee Dremel, you might be able to get into it and um, and, and get it off. Uh, of course, I, I can't. Right, so I'm just going to use the hammer, uh, use the hammer and chisel and just basically cut it all the way through. Yeah, I'll just keep on going until I've cut it. Uh, if you want to see some more banging, um, I've basically been able to um, move uh, one side. And 
and good that's the that's the other side has started moving as well so we'll just keep chiseling away until I've uh, cut my way through right now the bottom one is a bit looser I'll just uh, use the punch and there we go that's it uh, that's that one out the first wee bit anyway so that'll make it a lot easier to manoeuvre the uh, the top one out trying to get a little more grips onto the onto the end of it now we know we're going to have to replace these anyway so we don't have to be too gentle with them and there we go there's one out And we'll just uh, keep chiseling away at the at the other one. I might have to just uh, uh, use the brake disc itself to so put, so I'll just move the camera back a little bit so that uh, I can get more of a more of a swing. Since I'm chopping towards the brake disc, it won't damage the pads. Okay, that's fine. So that's uh, one side of it out. And then we'll just uh, just see if we can manoeuvre the other side out. far enough out I can use that same method getting the mole grip on the end no I just don't seem to have enough of the end of it to be able to grip on okay almost it's loose I'll just keep working away at that all right I'll just use the uh, the punch just in the in the wee end bit of the and all I need to do is push it out just a just a smidgen actually holding it on <coughs> just one of the wee, uh, the wee notches where I was uh, uh, chiseling it that's uh, that's caught there okay, so what I might do is I'll just crush down that, uh, that wee bit that's causing the, the problem just broke off, that's fine. I just use the punch, just straight through the straight through the middle. And there we go. Oh well almost. Yeah, and that's it. And that's how to get the pins off. Uh, and that's right about real time, so um, it's not taking us long. Uh, so hopefully that will help some of you uh, how to undo uh, seized on brake pins. If you liked that video and found it helpful, if you tick on the like box. And if you'd like to subscribe, if you tick on the subscribe box, there's a lot of uh, new videos I've got up and coming um, to make uh, your car uh, maintenance journey a lot easier. So I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.